and welcome back. This is Boss Kubo with more Let's Play Final Fantasy V. I am joined as always by my Earthling squad of Bards, Rena, and Ferris. When we last left off, we got ditched by aliens. Let's go try to find them again. We need to head to this meteor in order to do that. It is a Tycoon Meteor. One of the, well, the first place that we ever went to in the game. Uh, Sid and Mid told us that they should be here. Apparently they took the black chocobo here. What's the black chocobo doing here? Did Sid write it here? Apparently Bart forgot that Sid and Mid told us that they were taking the Adamantite back to where it belonged, and it's pretty easy to assume they meant here. So let's just head inside. Apparently Bart isn't up to date on that kind of stuff. Oh my god, we're so surprised you're here. Sid, Mid, what on earth? Bart, stay back, it's dangerous. The Adamantite began emitting an abnormal amount of power. What we wanted to do was to put it back where it belonged. Wait a minute. What? What do you see through your old man glasses? What? Well, I'll be. The floor is absorbing the adamantite's energy because we can tell that kind of stuff. Well, Sid can. I'm just staring at it blankly. Think we can repower the meteorite and go to Gallop's world? That's right. What's right? And then Reyna explains everything to him. I assume that's what that is. I mean, um, of course that's right. There's not enough um, adamantite left to repower it to full capacity. That's no good. But if we could repower the remaining three meteorites... We could warp back to Gallop's planet. Now, either that is phrased very, very badly or I do not understand the plan. Let's go on to the next one! Right! Basically the plan here is to go to the other meteorite and use the Anamantite there to partially power some of those as well. I'm a little confused on the plan. Uh, but we have to go to the next meteor which is Karnak Meteor just to the northwest. I will meet you there. Just a quick journey to the northwest to the next uh, meteor that, well, not next meteor that we went to in the plot, but this is the next one that they want us to go to. What is up, Sid and Mid? Let's go, Mid! Right! And in they go. Apparently I don't get to see what's going on here, so there went all my understanding of our plan. Oh, they're back. It's a dead of monsters! That doesn't sound good. Chocobo, can you help me with this? That was scary. Yeah, you already said that. You already said that. Let's go in! We, well, we need to take on all these monsters. <laughs> and by monsters, I just mean this one right here. So, let's take this guy on. It's boss time. We're up against Titan. Now this guy, he's kind of a douche. Hey, he missed. Very nice. Yeah, and I think I actually want to stay doing that. Uh, he's, well, he's not particularly strong against anything. Let's use Pokemon Logic. He is a ground type. Use Ice on him. It is always decently effective. Now, Reyna here can't throw money because she's a samurai. And apparently, samurais just go around throwing money all over the place. Oh, you missed with the critical strike. I didn't think you could actually do that. Um... Uh, Go for ice. Now this guy, he's very, very straightforward. However, he is also very, very powerful. Now, why would I want to throw money? Uh, we just need to do as much damage as we can on him. I'm a little concerned about Ferris right now uh, because, wow, just missing a ton. Uh, because even if I am successful trying to take on Titan, I could have a difficulty keeping everybody alive, as we will see eventually, hopefully. If Ferris doesn't make it, that is fine. Earthshaker, that is the attack that I'm concerned about. Oh, and everybody just barely lives. About 450 to 500 damage across the board. It is quite a devastating attack. And sometimes he busts it out in the middle of the fight. It is not nice. We get five ability points for that, so good thing everybody lived. I'm looking at you, Ferris. I did not have high hopes for you. I was kind of expecting you to die, but I gave Ferris more magic defense. That was the trick. Um, I forgot what I 
equipped her with. I think it was the elf cloak that I gave her. And we get the summon monster Titan for those of you that are fans of the series. He has a summon in this game as well. Thank you. You can leave the rest to us. Can I see what the plan is here? Are we like repowering the adamantite and transferring it? Let's go on to the next one. Right. Of course, just float on out of here. I don't fit on the chocobo apparently. Uh, do I need to actually use Titan? I believe I do. So let's see if I can find him. No. Apparently, I don't need to use Titan. It is just automatically learned. Yeah, there he is. So, Rama, you have to you have to actually use Titan. You, you just get him. He's nice, apparently. So, I obviously need to heal. I can't have Ferris running around at 3 HP. So, I am going to go find an inn, and I'm going to meet you at the next meteor, which is the Walls Meteor. I believe our dragon is still there. All healed and ready to go. I have changed my party just a little bit. Bart's is back on Ninja for, I don't know, something that's going to come up very soon. Let's head into the meteor. This meteor is the Walls Meteor. Our dragon is still here. And this is directly east of the Karnak Meteor. Just literally directly east. You can't miss it. Wait here. Leave it to us. Hopefully Sid and Mid can do this without any trouble. Like there was last time. How many monsters can there be lying around? Did you do it? It's over. Let's hurry. Ah, crap. Sid and Mid, look out. Because even though they have finished the job, we're still under attack. And it's boss time yet again. This time we're up against Brobolos. I... Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I don't know. We're going to use lightning skills on them. Because this is the easiest way to cheap them out. These guys are weak to lightning. So, use lightning on them. Uh, unfortunately, the, there is a trick to these guys. And that trick... Can, Wait, what am I doing? Yeah, steal. Steal. Anytime you're ready right now. Uh, the trick to these guys is that they can cast a rise on each other. That is not so nice. Get a lightning skill. So we want to do as much damage to them all at once that we can. Now that is why I had to switch Bart's back to a ninja from... I think it was a sorcerer. Yeah, see, there we go. They cast a rise. And then they die. So if you were to kill one of them, and then try to kill another guy, he would cast a rise and everybody would be back. It's not fun. Kill them all at once. So uh, lightning skills are great for that. And you get five ability points. And Reyna has gained a job level. She's received slap. Slap so hard, you got the double S in there. I don't understand, but I will take it, and I will also take this tonic. Not necessarily the best thing I wanted, but hey, you know, I will take what I can get. You all okay? Pretty impressive. Yeah, you see me throw those books? Right, let's get on to the next one. Right, and they just ditch us yet again. Why is everybody okay with ditching me? And I... We'll meet you at the next meteor. And I've made it to the last meteor right here. This is uh, southeast or southwest, depending on how far east and west you wanted to go. Of our last meteor, I have switched Bart back to the sorcerer. So let's go ahead and go inside. Hopefully Sid and Mid can do this without me having to fight anything. This is the Gorm meteor, just for the record. Wait here. Be right back. Of course you will. Of course you will. I, I want to know why I can't see the science. What is going on in there that I am not allowed to see? Black Chocobo, do you know what's going on? What's taking so long? Die. Let's take a look-see. And Ferris still has a pirate voice. He, nothing? D they don't tell you what the plan is? Why are we spreading out the Anamantite's power? Are we recharging it? What is going on? Let's head down here. We'll see. Hopefully I can sneak in on some science. What are you guys doing? Help! Help! And it's boss time. We're up against Kima Brain this time. 
Just go ahead and attack. Are you serious? You're going to start off with an aqua rake. So if you haven't learned it to this point, now's your opportunity. Seriously. Freaking chemo brain. Aqua rake is still one of my best abilities. Just, just smack. Just up and down smack it. And then you do need a healer for this fight. Primarily because of that. Primarily because of blades. And we have hopefully uh, casted old on the chemo brain. I don't. I have the the ancient sword on, and that is the ability that it went for. Uh, however, I'm not sure if that. Damn. If that landed. Look at that damage. Stop trying to kill people. I'm trying to heal them still. Damn it, Ferris! Get your turn faster so you can heal. Everybody needs more HP. You, you, you can hit Reyna, I guess. You can hit Reyna. If you can hit anybody. Damn, Reyna is kicking ass for me with that crit rate. Holy crap. Are you serious? Another blaze. Everybody still lives, though. And I got a magic barrier. No. I'm not, I don't think that's just in time. I, I think that it doesn't actually kill uh, that drain ability. Seriously, Reyna? I was just thanking you for the crit rate, and then you go and pull that on me. You guys old it up up in there. Just constantly cure, 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 cure. That's all you're good for right now, Ferris. Don't bother with magic. I do know that ice heals. Are you serious? You're being serious right now. Everybody still lives. Come on, get a crit again. That would be appreciated. That's so much damage. Yeah, old isn't helping, but that is enough for the victory there. And once again, we get out by the skin of our teeth. We get six ability points for that fight. Down goes Kima Brain. That was not easy. Not easy. I feel like I got lucky on that one, to be honest with you. Let's take our Phoenix down and run. Sid, mid, you, you doing all right? Slap him. Oh, I should mention that the ability that Reyna did receive is Stone Slap. It, it can petrify the enemies. Uh, okay, let's go. That's why it's a it's Stone Slap. It's a slap. I didn't know you could abbreviate Stone with an S. Are you all right? You bet. That was close. That's all four meteorites. Look at this map. So now we are going to be pulling up the map, which takes forever to load in the PlayStation version. There's no other way for me to put it. It takes way too damn long in the PlayStation version. In fact, I'm going to cut it out. There it is. That is where we need to go, apparently. Just, okay, I saw the location on the map. The point where the energy from the four meteorites intersects is the warp point. Be careful. Thanks, Sid, Mid, as I turn my head at them like I'm a hero in a movie or something. Now I'm going to go back and talk to them. The point where... Yes, yes, thank you. Stop. Okay, we're done. We're done, Mid. Me coming back to talk to you was pointless. I need to go heal, and then I will meet you at that warp point. All healed and saved. Now, I actually made a backup save uh, for this because this is really a point of no return. This is a one-way trip through this portal here. So just in case I should need to come back, I do have that backup save ready. I think we are ready, though. So let's go onto the portal here. The light's fading. There isn't much power left. So apparently what has happened here, uh, just based on on what has happened, uh, this is my best guess. Sid has used the adamantite to partially power up uh, the four meteorites and has somehow programmed them to combine their energies in a centralized spot. And this is the spot here. And this will warp us to Galif's world. That's as best as I can understand that. Just one chance. A one-way ship. Dar. I won't be sailing home this time. Let's go. Aye. Apparently Bart picked up a little bit of Ferris's pirate speak. Right, we're off. Goodbye, world. You, you forgot cruel. Oh. You're, you're, you're not committing suicide. Fair enough. Stay well, me mateys. 
And that is very accurate jumping that you're doing there. I'll be back, Boko. We'll see about that. We'll see.